All right, we have another drawing vectors example. This one is not at a right angle. So we need to be careful with our drawing and make it a scaled drawing. A football is passed to a receiver and is initially traveling through the air with a velocity of 12 meters per second north. The wind is blowing with a velocity of three meters per second, 20 degrees west of south. What is the resulting velocity of the football? To make a scale drawing, we need to set our scale. On our drawing, one centimeter is gonna equal one meters per second nice because the numbers are relatively small and it'll fit on our paper easily. So 12 meters per second will be 12 centimeters and 3 meters per second will be 3 centimeters. Let's draw our first vector. Let's choose where our origin is going to be and we know that we're going to draw a line of 12 centimeters to represent 12 meters per second. It's going to go straight up. The top of my paper is going to be north. So that vector represents the football initially traveling 12 meters per second north. The football is also being influenced by the wind and that is at a velocity of 3 meters per second at 20 degrees west of south. So we need to find where that is. So if this is west and this is south, uh, the wind is 20 degrees to the west of south. So that 20 degree mark right there would represent 20 degrees west of south. So we're going to draw our vector head to tail as we always do. It's going to start at the tail of that vector and it's going to go towards that 20 degree mark. It's not going to make it all the way there because remember it's only 3 centimeters long. Those three centimeters represent those three, that, that velocity of three meters per second. So that is three meters per second, 20 degrees west of north. I'm sorry, west of south, west of south. And uh, to clean up our picture here a little bit, we'll get rid of those arrows because we're gonna draw our resulting vector uh, here. So we wanna add them together. So from the beginning to the end of our vectors will be what's called the resultant vector. And so that line, this arrow right there, if we can measure it and get the angle, will be the resultant of those two. Since it's not at a right angle uh, and we want to draw it, uh, we have to draw it to scale and measure it. So our first step then is how long is it? That's going to give us the magnitude. Like it is 9.3 centimeters. So 9.3 centimeters, which is 9 meter per second. I'm sorry, 9.3 meters per second when we use our scale. So you can see it lost some speed because of the wind. Now we need to find the angle. Every vector needs a magnitude and a direction. We use an angle to describe the direction. So if this is north, which it has been in this problem, and that's west, we can describe this angle. If we put zero at north, that angle is going to be six degrees west of north. So if I label my angle, it's going to be six degrees west of north. Alright, and so our resultant velocity, when we add these two vectors together, our resultant velocity is 9.3 meters per second at an angle of 6 degrees west of north.